Hello everyone, my name is Cosmic and welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy. In the last episode, we helped Luigi and we were at a grand total of 101 stars. And the reason why I've just immediately gone into Flying Mario is to show that no, you cannot go to this area as Flying Mario. You have to take the green launch star, which is fine by me, but just in case you were curious, we've done that. So, these three galaxies, they're at the edge of the canonical universe in Mario, apparently, and there are three. There's Bubble Blast, Rolling Gizmo, and Loop de Swoop. I'm going to be going in order from easiest to hardest for me personally, and the easiest is Loop de Swoop for me. Wanna go to the Loop de Swoop galaxy? Okay then. And as he transforms into a green launch star, we go off and we take on Loop de Swoop Galaxy, the galaxy's greatest wave. Let's go. And as we head into this galaxy, you can see there's a monster of a course over here. Let's talk to our friend over here. You again, back for more race surfing? This course is a monster, you sure you wanna try? Okay, you got three minutes to get back here. Stay calm and just enjoy the surf. So, we already know Manta Controls, which is good. So, B to accelerate and use your right Joy-Con to steer, I guess you could say. I'm gonna take it relatively slow so that I don't fall off and die, but it's not a hassle for me if I do, since I can always retry. I wanna get this done in one try, because I said that it was the easiest, so now I gotta hold up my word. <laughs> um, I never get that one up, that's very upsetting. So this course actually starts getting smaller and smaller, and there's a big loop-de-loop, -loop, which is very interesting. I really like the loop-de-loop -loop. Um, in this galaxy. As you can see, there are the penguin faces, and as you can see, Jesus, this I was wrong about how short it would get in a quick amount of time. This is, this is very thin. Okay, there we go. The reason why I like this one the best is because, you know, usually I practice. <laughs> with loop-de-loop -loop whenever I want to attempt this. So I always go into loop-de-loop -loop and do that. But for this one, I actually have no practice in this take. So will I get there? I sure as balls hope so. There we go. 1.13. You probably can get a better time than me. Wow, a 1.13 race time. Nice. And that is not an easy time to get on this course. Well, hey, everyone wants to see you. So drop in and say hello. Okay, so star here. I'm gonna leave the star on the pedestal because as the penguin said, everyone wants to talk to me. Nice! You're incredible! That must impress the princesses. As he said, princesses, you know, Princess Daisy and Princess Peach. <laughs> so as you fly over, you get these nice coins and everything. Now that's some crazy skill everyone in this galaxy was watching. I really love that for us. So we're gonna go over. There's nobody on this platform, so we don't have to speak to them. But as we fly back to the main part, we've already dropped in on everyone, apart from that one penguin over like here on this platform. Hello, sir. Matter Ray, you did a good job, buddy. <laughs> I really love them. And as we get up to the star, let's go ahead and collect it. You got a star. And as we fly back in, we have the first of three. The second one that we're going to be attempting is Bubble Blast. So, galaxy complete, high score updated, yada yada yada, we've already seen this a thousand times. So let's go on ahead and wander on over. Okay, I thought I heard Toad and I was about to scream. 
Um, because <laughs> these toads are harassing me. I forget how often that they try and talk to you and say stuff. Um, so let's go on over to Bubble Blast. Want to go to the Bubble Blast galaxy? I should assume so. Okay then. So this one, as we go in, utilizes bubbles. And I'm sure you know how I did in the Bubble Breeze galaxy. I think that's what it's called. But anyways, Bubble Blast Galaxy, the Electric Labyrinth. Let's go. So as we come in, we are yet again faced with the bubbles from Bubble Breeze, I believe it's called. Don't quote me on it. And we have to collect five star chips. So I'm going to go into the top and I'm going to work my way around clockwise. So as you can see, there's a star chip over there. I wish I could jump over and get it. What we want to avoid doing is bumping into these electric fences as that means instant death for us. So we've got our first. You can take your time with this first section, but when we get to the next section after we've completed the launch star stuff, um, you might want to start running, is all I'm going to say. So second one over here isn't too bad either. It's more so these stationary, like, bombs, um, which I'm going to try hard to avoid. But sometimes I do get nicked, and I do end up falling, and it's not cute. Anyway, let's go over here, and I thought I wasn't going to make it. I was about to scream. Let's go into this pipe to this third one, and as you can see, there's the sling star, and we have these electric balls slash orbs, the vault orbs, the amps, whatever you really consider them to be. So we're just going to take our time, but not too slowly, because those amps will get us. And we have number three, so now we need number four. Number four is a little bit interesting because we have these fire geysers. Now you'd think that the bubble would protect us against fire, right? Uh, wrong! <laughs> Unfortunately, it does not. We're going to wait again. Mario's just like, what are you doing, man? It's alright, Mario. We're going to get you back safely. See, I told you we'd get you back safely. We need to go over and sling ourselves over back to this area and now we go for the final one again these aren't too tricky the the rolling gizmo one is the one that i struggle with the most i'm not gonna lie <laughs> so you can imagine how i am all the time with that one we're gonna go collect all of these star bits try not to get hit by electricity please don't oh my goodness we're gonna go up now. There we go. There's the launch star. Every time it does this, it has like a delay. So I'm a little bit worried, but it's all right. We've made it to the top. And now comes the fun part slash hard part. I don't like this hard part. We fly across and we come to this area where the star is, but we have a little something called a bullet bill following us. So I'm just going to quickly... Ooh, because you saw that the bullet bill was there. If it touches you and makes contact with you, you're dead. So just try and go a little bit faster than you were before. Obviously not too fast to bump into the electric fences like I nearly just did. It's all right. This is probably the first of these three that I expect to die in. So the fact that I haven't yet is surprising and I don't want to jinx it. Because I know that I'll end up jinxing it somehow, but it's alright. Bullet Bill can't possibly get us through there, hopefully. Oh wait, he followed us. Oh, he was persistent. Oh, I do not like that. Do not like a man that follows me. Right, and now here comes the fun part, because it gets shorter and shorter and shorter, which I do not like. So, blow. And like that, we have the star. You got a star. And as we fly back into this galaxy, observatory, and you just said galaxy, I hate myself. 
You gotta star the Electric Labyrinth Bubble Blast. Galaxy complete. Increased our star bit count. Save our game, absolutely. Game has been saved. And with that, we're hopping over to take on the final trial galaxy. Rolling Gizmo Galaxy. Wanna go to the Rolling Gizmo Galaxy? Yes, because I need to make myself some space. <laughs> so, Rolling Gizmo, here we come. Hopefully I can do it. Uh -huh. Rolling Gizmo Galaxy, Gizmos, Gears, and Gadgets. Or as I used to say, good jets. Let's go. So in case you didn't get um, that from the intro, um, this is a rolling ball level. <laughs> and you can see why I saved it till last now. Um, I consider this one to be quite hard. We're going to go on to the ball and try not to die. Because these Goombas will try and get in the way. Oh, I say Goomba like a proper brick man. Um, let's do that. With these grey bricks, you just want to ram into them. Just like with this bridge as well. Um, I will be super surprised if I don't die here, like in this galaxy, excuse me Mario. Sometimes Mario doesn't respond to my gyro, which is why I say I will be very surprised. <laughs> Alright, let's roll. You're actually just about halfway through, so... And I usually die up ahead, so... <laughs> um, not here. I don't think I've ever died necessarily here. But where I have died is in the next segment. Because the game likes to spawn in something called a babam. <laughs> and when you hit a babam, they like to explode. Oh, wow. Another place that I usually die is with this Goomba and this red area over here. <gasps> what? Oh, it's teasing me now. No, go away. <laughs> Stop teasing me. This should be relatively easy from now on, I say, as I probably fall to my death. Um, so, with this last segment, oh my goodness, don't ever do that again. I'm gonna wait for the dice. Gonna stay on the dice, and oh my goodness. <gasps> I did it without dying! How wonderful. And that is the star. I can't believe I did that. Just like with the other rolling course, rolling greens galaxy, you can go ahead and collect all of the star bits. You tell how stressed I was. Anyways, we got the final star for this episode. Boom! 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 And as we fly back, we relish in the fact that we've gotten all stars that we can up to this point. The only one that remains is the center of the universe. So, in the next episode, we take on, at long last, Bowser in the center of the universe. Don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to click the links in the description, which will take you to my Twitter, my Twitch, my coffee, and my Discord. See you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>